maximum ice slick Ridiculous permits, no warrants to up to their garments Enormous loss in Tribeca upstairs From the inspector, perfect intellect Collect the resurrect the early 81 sun Reflect with the shine of rope Fast to build grill, chill on the hill Push grill, dollar bill earner With the burner, Guys, pull along like it water Another episode like Tina of Turner. Maximilian Must Know Today we're going to take a look at a fragrance from the house of Hermes This is the third uh, fragrance that I purchased from the pharmacy near my house that had the sale um, on these fragrances buy one get one free and the price tag on this one as you can see here was $60 I actually wound up paying about 40 because I also the fourth fragrance that I bought was Cartier's uh, Bassier du Dragon which was $80 and you had to buy one or more of equal value so I got this in the Cartier for 80 bucks this is the vintage version of Equipage by Hermes and the fourth scent from the house that I'm reviewing uh, first we did Le Jardin sur le Toit we did Eau de Mandarin Ambre and we did Amber Narki uh, I probably have on my list another six or so to purchase from this house next up is probably going to be tear to hermes um it's very possible by the time you watch this i will have had that um i'm going through a healthy size decant of it now but i i do want a a full bottle this was really a blind buy for me i hadn't smelled this one i knew it was sort of pre jean claude elena and sort of in that category of hermes masculine scents like bella me and rock bar so i went for it now if you want house history please do watch my review um on jardin sur la toile which was my first review of a fragrance from hermes i think that's actually the best of the jardin line uh to be quite honest you guys and one of my favorite spring fragrances of all time equipage is early in the hermes catalog it came out in 1970 the perfumer on this one was guy robert um, he did the original gucci Purim in 1976 not the the one in the heavy bottle with the black cat. He did Monsieur uh, Rocas in 1969. He passed away a couple of years ago, but he actually had done a few modern scents in recent time, including Amouage Gold for Men in 1998. The notes on Equipage are aldehyde, orange, clary sage, nutmeg, flower, bergamot, and Brazilian rosewood at the top, carnation, cinnamon, jasmine, lily of the valley, and pine tree needle in the middle, and tonka bean, patchouli, musk, oak moss, vanilla, and vetiver in the base. Now, if you were going to go purchase this uh, from Hermes and their updated packaging, 100 ml of this fragrance would cost you $128. In vintage packaging, I've seen this one go up to $300 on eBay, so it can be pricey uh, vintage. Um, if there were more when I had bought this one, I I, um, I probably would have bought them as well and tried to sell them. And I did go to Hermes to smell the newer version of this, and there is a little bit of a difference, which we'll discuss later. As far as your presentation goes, so I thought the box was really dirty because uh, you see these sort of specs on it, but that's actually just the design of the box. So um, Equipage, Eau de Toilette, Hermes, Paris. You have your um, barcode on the back, the price the drugstore was selling it for, $60. And then the bottle definitely looks vintage. It says Equipage Eau de Toilette. Um, you have a Hermes engraved in glass on the bottom. This piece is plastic and this piece is plastic. Um, and you have a decent atomizer, definitely gets the job done. And this is a 100 ml bottle, again, Eau de Toilette concentration so first things first you guys might know i'm not in love with 1980s fragrances many of them to me smell like cigarette smoke and sort of messes of big and bold notes like everything else in the era there's not that I, a lot of fragrances in that time that i really like you sort of need to predate the 80s for me to enjoy a men's scent so like i do like halston z14 which came out in the 70s or chanel pour monsieur or some of the way back scents like pouring on by Caron or Nice 10. This one really does fit into the category for me of older scents that I enjoy. I really like this one. I feel very classy and sophisticated when I wear this. Now, there's no clover tobacco listed in the note breakdown, but when I smell Equipage, I really get three notes mainly, and it's a combination of cinnamon, clove, and tobacco. Now, that doesn't mean I don't detect anything else in this one. I definitely get carnation, uh, some patchouli, some pine, but mainly the way that I feel about this one is a wet spice 
tobacco vibe. And it's a very pleasant scent, unlike almost anything else in my collection. It's got a bit of smokiness. It's got a nice level of sweetness. Um, there's not a huge amount of progression in this scent. What it opens with is, for me, kind of what it closes with. But it's really pleasant for me. And as far as differences between this and what's sold nowadays, to me, the new Equipage just smells like a toned down version of this one. It's almost like it was neutered. Um, my vintage, vintage bottle here sort of roars out of the bottle. The newer version I kind of look at as, as softer and more subdued. Uh, does not make it bad, maybe even makes it more appropriate for 2015. I get really good performance out of this one. It projects, it lasts. My guess is that there are materials in this one that can no longer be used in fragrances uh, due to restrictions and that's probably why this one is so strong uh, but this is a big and bold scent that you really need to be careful with trigger wise certainly a unisex scent um, perhaps a bit better suited for men and it can really easily be worn three out of four um, seasons maybe a bit too cloying for summer and I think this is a good casual um, night out or office scent, maybe a little bit too dated for me to personally wear out on a date. If you can't get this one or want something like this and, and don't want to get the newer version, the fragrances that this sort of remind me of a little bit is first and foremost when I thought about this one, um, Cose by Parfumerie Generale is also a spicy tobacco uh, fragrance. That one's got hemp and cocoa and patchouli, so that's a that's an excellent fragrance. Um, also reminds me a little bit of Third Man. Um, by Caron, which is sort of an old school dandy scent. And then there's a fragrance by West Third Brand that I admittedly have not smelled called Marsh to Tobacco. And that one has clove and tobacco and the note breakdown as well. So those are the few you might want to check out um, if you can't get your hands on this one. I think if someone was trying to convince you to pick up this version of this fragrance, they'd say it's it's very cool to have a fragrance like this in your collection. It is different than the current formulation, um, and cloves and tobacco are really a pleasant, uh, create a pleasant accord. I think if someone were trying to talk you out of buying this, they'd probably tell you that it, this is a hard fragrance to get, and it's pricey, um, and it's vintage form, and is it worth it, or can you better spend that money getting a few fragrances that might better fit your profile and be a bit more modernized? I'm going to give Equipage a 6.5 out of 10. I really enjoy this one, but I don't know that it's worth going out and seeking it out instead um, of the current version, you know? Uh, I, I, I like the presentation on this one. I think it, it smells really good. Um, unfortunately, I do feel like it is a bit dated uh, a little too dated for me to wear with a ton of confidence and if I was looking to wear a tobacco fragrance I think nowadays I would more often look to a cose uh, or a tobacco vini they're just more modern and they're more apt to get you compliments but I respect the architects and definitely respect Guy Robert and what he did for fragrances and this is one of the first fragrances uh, certainly that I've ever come across that smells like this so uh, great job I think on this especially for the era and uh, really Really happy to have this one in my collection. So if you have any questions about this vintage Equipage, um, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I, we will have more videos next week. I obviously am maximizing.